Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Before you watch the video, don't forget to uh, like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are of a mind, and uh, don't forget to take a look at us on Patreon. We have a lot more stuff over there as well, and uh, we've started putting a lot of different recipes. Easy peasy recipes for us poor folks. Now watch the video. Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Hope you guys are doing okay. I've been outside working, doing a little bit. Yes, I actually shaved. Um, but I've been outside working. It is humid. Man, I hope everyone had a fantastic Mother's Day and they were able to visit their moms uh, or their grandmothers or stepmoms or step-grandmothers. Um, and uh, if... Uh, those of you who do not have uh, your mothers or grandmothers still with you, my heart goes out to you uh, because it is very, uh, very sad. Um, but I know you thought about it. What we are doing today is we are doing more seed starting uh, down here. Uh, I was going to start uh, completely redo the hydroponics, but I am out of rock wool or a um, supporting rooting medium and I went to Lowe's once already today and I'm not going back uh, so uh, what we'll probably do is just uh, grab some on the way home and then reseed everything uh, I'll show you this uh, this is the hydroponics that we have going so far and it's still going uh, really well uh, it, this forward. Uh, it is hitting my funnel um, everything is doing good kind of sort of Everything is growing really well. This is a, a gourmet, a, a gourmet lettuce mix, and it is a red um, arugula. Here is from the same batch. This was a green arugula. This tastes wonderful. This tastes heinous. Tastes like bitter dirt. I don't know why. Bok choy. Tastes funky too. It may be. Um, that they don't like the nutrient tank that we have these guys in. So, um, seeds nothing but pennies and uh, nutrient can go uh, in the garden and in the flowering plants, so that's no problem. We're gonna completely redo it all and then we will probably get all four uh, tanks going. Um, these are cement mixing trays uh, that you can get for low, uh, from Lowe's for about $8, $9, something like that. Uh, between 9 to 11 gallons of nutrient, depending on uh, how the level that you are looking for to put it in. And we're going to completely redo all of these guys and start over. But I will show you what we're, what we're loading up right now. Uh, for some reason, I can't grow cucumbers not for nothing this year, so I planted another... I started seeds on another dozen and I double seeded. Uh, so in theory, there should be 24, but we will see. Um, planted more poblano peppers, cause I like those. Those are the big uh, semi-sweet peppers that you end up stuffing. Um, planted more thyme and butternut squash, as you can see, 6, 12, 18, 24. Uh, 24 seeds of the butternut squash. Now, why? I like butternut squash. I, I, I really like it. Uh, I grew up eating it a lot. Uh, my grandparents, one of the easiest recipes was take a good-sized butternut squash, cut it in half lengthwise, scoop out the stuff, put that, rinse it off, dry them out for seed for next year, and then fill it up with butter and brown sugar. Holy cow! That is a fantastic dinner. Um, bake it in the oven for like I want to say 450 for a few minutes and it comes out soft and re ricious raggy. Now, I want to show you this is butternut squash that we grew last year. You say last year? Yes, last year. I'm going to show you this. And I did this purposefully because I wanted to see, I knew that these things were long storage squash. Really, really. They are a winter squash, and you can store them in a cool, dry place for a very long time. How long? Okay. 
There we go. I have harvested this 721. Okay, now we're back. So this thing harvested this July 21st. Uh, there is a trick to it. You don't pull the stem off. You cut the stem. If you pull the stem off or break the stem right there, it rots from the top down. And it will do it in a few days. Did it. And it was a waste. These things uh, are about 4 or $5 a piece now. This one has been here again since July of last year. And one of the next videos we're going to do is eating our long-term uh, food storage. This is actually something that had lasted Sorry about that. Got an alert on my phone. This thing is one that had lasted for a very long time, longer than my apples, longer than the bananas, the onions that we tried to do long-term storage in. And by failing, uh, they did fail. And by failing, I could only get about three or four months from my regular uh, onions and potatoes. So we will see uh, how well uh, it works out. This one has done really well. And that's why I wanted to grow another 24 plants. I've got the space and we will just toss them out there. I've got four or five of these left, four. Now, imagine if you had two or 300 of those set aside, that would be good for meals. And uh, cabbage, cabbage is another really good long-term storage. And you can also do a lot of fermenting. And that, this is not touching any kind of alternative way to store besides storing fresh. Um, so that is what we're doing. Here are some potatoes that I have just set up here just to see how long and how well they do. And these are shore-bought Idaho potatoes, baking potatoes. I'm getting about two months, which, I mean, you can still eat this, absolutely, but it is, it is not as appealing. But I think that appealing may be going by the wayside very soon. Uh, of course, garlic. Uh, I store garlic up to a year just hanging like this. And this is the stuff that I planted outside that I had bought from the store and had stored for almost a year and planted outside and it grew wonderfully. So, think long-term food storage. Um, but, Think whole food, long-term food storage. That's what we're working on. I guess we're gonna wrap it up, but that is where we stand. We still have a whole lot of other stuff that we're going to be doing. Um, more regular squashes. We're gonna do some birdhouse gourds uh, as well, just cause those are fun to do and I like doing that and doing crafty stuff with them, uh, with the grandkids birdhouse gourds, purple martin gourd houses, that kind of stuff. Uh, those are fun. Uh, we're going to do more sunflowers. We're going to do a whole lot more beans. A whole lot more beans. Uh, and we're going to do I may do a little bit of corn. I may do a little patch. Now, I'm not doing a lot of tilling in this. This is, a, this is just dig it up, stick it in the ground, and we'll see how it works with lots and lots of, of uh, chicken poop. Um, that's where we stand. I'm starting to ramble now. I'm trying to, to think that I had like all these fantastic ideas and, and innovative crap that was gonna change the world and, and I've forgotten most of all of it. I'm getting old. Anyway, guys, give me a thumbs up. Take care of people.